News Channel 13, live at 5.30, begins right now. Coming up, how a local woman is using tote bags to help cancer patients and how you can help her. It's my Today's Women Report right after the break. And they are not Chanel, Fendi, or Louis Vuittons, but some tote bags created by a local woman may be more priceless than any designer bag. Here's my Today's Women Report. So this is for you. Velvet Kyle has always had a knack for knowing what people need. Today she's giving away totes stuffed full of goodies to cancer patients here at St. Mary's Cancer Treatment Center. It's a wonderful gift. For Linda Laney, who receives treatment at the cancer center, Velvet's gift is heartfelt. It makes you feel, I don't know, warm. But she, under, she truly understands where we're, where we're at understands because Velvet has worked as a nurse. I did 10 years of clinical. When she left nursing, she worked in disability management for a medical company, once again in service to others. Her ability to read people got its roots when she was a young entrepreneur. I was always the one doing the beaded bracelets and selling those for dollars. At 20, she opened a restaurant. Today, she's in real estate, but Velvet didn't assess the needs of the patients here because of her marketing pros. She understands because she recently found herself on the other side of the healthcare profession as a patient. When you're a nurse, you think you know everything, but when they're talking about you and they say you have breast cancer, suddenly it's like Charlie Brown's teacher talking to you and you're like, wah, 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 <laughs> what did you just say to me? During her recuperation, she realized there were a few things, a blanket, notebooks, small things that made her recovery a little easier. So why not create tote bags for others? She calls them totes for hope. On September 29th, Velvet will hold a fundraiser, raising money to provide more totes for people who she knows all too well, people like herself. It's being able to take what happened with me and my experience as a breast cancer survivor and then turn that into a positive was very important for me to give back to the community who was there for me when I was going through you know, my journey. That fundraiser, you can go to our website, WNYT.com. We have set up a link for you.